this week it was revealed that in his first interview with police, Simpson had refused to take a lie detector test. His reason? It detects lies. <laughs> Meanwhile, Simpson defense attorney Robert Baker argued that a dark spot in a crime scene photo was a, quote, mystery shoe print, suggesting that there were actually two killers. O.J. hopes this will support his theory that he did not act alone. <laughs> President Bill Clinton and Russian President Boris Yeltsin have made tentative plans to meet early next year. According to the White House, the pair will use the meeting to resume their ongoing debate, drinking versus pot smoking. <laughs> hey. The FDA has approved a drug used for anti-depression to help people quit smoking cigarettes. Although it should be noted, the drug is crack. So... <laughs> a top aviation watchdog group warned this week that the nation's airlines are vulnerable to terrorist attack. The biggest problem, apparently, watchdog groups pointing out to terrorists that airlines are vulnerable to attack. That's the... That's all right. Over the next two months, the murder... Uh, I'm sorry, after the, uh, over the next... Hey, yeah, yeah. <laughs> over the next two months, the number of Border Patrol agents in Tucson, Arizona will double to 49. Meanwhile, the number of illegal aliens sneaking into the country will hold steady at 100 million billion. So... Did I screw something else up? Famed anthropologist Mary Leakey died this Monday at the age of 83. Leakey was buried near her home where she will rest in peace until some nosy anthropologist digs her up in a couple of... <laughs> That's a nice obituary for the lady. This week, renowned heart surgeon Michael DeBakey attack the hypocrisy of Hollywood stars who oppose the use of animals in medical research and yet wear ribbons supporting the war on deadly diseases like AIDS. In response, animal activist Ricky Lake said, quote, but the red ribbon diverts attention from my gigantic ass. I... <laughs> if it wasn't for the red ribbon, people would, would notice my gigantic ass more. They... By wearing the red ribbon, less people... <laughs> well, a big seller this holiday season is Michael Bolton's Christmas album, This Is The Time. Happy birthday, Jesus. Hope you like crap. <laughs> Once again, it is Christmas in New York, and while that means angry shoppers and tasteless decorations... You can flip that card anytime you want. It also means something more. Here with a fresh perspective on the meaning of Christmas are the stars of the upcoming movie Beavis and Butthead Do America, MTV's own Beavis and Butthead. This week, security guard Richard Jewell, who had sued NBC over comments by Tom Brokaw suggesting that he was the Olympic Park bomber, settled out of court with the network for an undisclosed sum. Meanwhile, the FBI has a new 800 number for tips on the case, and curiously, the first call was from Mr. Jewell, who suggested that they check out Tom Brokaw. <laughs> this week, the chairman of the board, Frank Sinatra, turned 81 years old, and he was honored by having the Empire State Building lit in blue. Also in Mr. Sinatra's honor, the Empire State Building had the Twin Towers rough up the Chrysler Building. <laughs> Grocery and department stores across America have added reserved parking spaces for expectant mothers. Especially excited about this innovation are handicapped drivers who will finally get to park in someone else's space. <laughs> in a recent interview, actress Goldie Hahn says that she does not mind if the man she's married to cheats on her, explaining, quote, sexual experimentation is a basic need of all men. You can read more about Goldie Hawn's personal philosophy in my new book, 
Goldie Hawn, the greatest woman who ever lived. <laughs> and finally, the number one selling doll this Christmas is Tickle Me Elmo. And the least popular selling doll, you guessed it, Tickle Me Frank Stallone. Jesus. Good night, everybody. Thanks.